Hey, it's Josh with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Uh, we decided to go ahead and uh, get a Rhino 180. We've got the 150. Uh, we've actually got about four of those and uh, have had good luck with those, both from a durability. And, um, you know, we just, we just really uh, like the Rhino product so far. So um, I'm getting ready to open this up and I'm going to do a setup. Uh, if you have seen our channel before, you know, uh, we had some comedy in the uh, 150 setup with Jason who didn't read the directions. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm actually going to look at the directions uh, so we don't repeat that, uh, that humorous video just to make sure that we get it put together uh, fast and efficiently and uh, then we'll take it back down. So um, we know that the durability is really good on their products. Uh, this one having the mesh panels, I'm not exactly sure how that's all gonna hold up and we won't know until the end of the season, but um, let's go ahead and get this thing put together and see how fast we can pop it up and take it down. Nice bag with uh, backpack straps and a chest strap so you can carry this in. I'll have to look to see what the weight is. They claim this is a, uh, a three-person um, blind, and I'll tell you, my experience on all the blinds is when you have a kid and you're also using a tripod or something like that, it takes a lot more space, especially two seats, tripod, your bags, everything. So it might fit three people, but uh, you better pack light and just not plan on moving around at all. So we're hoping that this is gonna work a little better with my son. Uh, we had some opportunities last year and uh, the deer were just kind of too close by the time we uh, got our window on the 150 kind of opened up enough, we, um, we kind of spooked them. So. Um, let me get this thing set out here and uh, in uh, an effort not to repeat what Jason did. Side bag here has uh, stakes for staking it down, which I highly recommend because uh, we've had them blow, you know, three, four hundred yards from where they were. Number one recommendation, read the directions. Boy, it looks so easy. Sure does. So what it basically says here is to uh, spread it out a little bit. So you want it to kind of lay down and spread out. It doesn't look like the picture for sure. So basically you want to get the top up first. So we're going to pop the top. Got a nice handle here. All right, so we got the top popped up. And then I think you just start working your way around pulling the other hubs out. So let's see here. It's definitely not super simple, but we're getting it. And the final side. Okay. Doorway has these nice clips, so there's no zipper. And it's got a snap. So no zipper enclosure there. I'm gonna turn it around and go in it. I'll take my Rhino seat in there as well. So this is my 180 side here and here. We're not going to stake it for today's purposes. All right, so I can see perfectly out of here. And uh, we have some hooks to where we can drop and draw this down if you don't want to shoot through it. So I can see perfectly all the way through here. Really nice, nice and quiet. There's other windows that can be opened. So we're inside. So we're inside the 180 blind. Here's the part that I opened. There's my camera over there. You see the house down there just fine. You have these uh, different types of quiet, quiet closures. Here and here, a lot of sliding closures, no zippers. So if you can be scent free, you're gonna have a really nice quiet 
blind here. As I mentioned, I have the clip for the door, clip for the door, and then you would snap these things on here. So, no pocket, storage pocket there. So, I'm going to say it's really spacious for one person, but uh, three people, it's going to be tight. Definitely maybe with a gun, but not with a bow. And uh, let's just look out and kind of see how good that looks. That's pretty cool. So, uh, I'm excited. This is going to be where my son and I set up and uh we gotta get a tripod in here see how we can make enough room and uh maybe narrow down how much stuff we're carrying it in so so we have a mesh window there complete see-through side there complete see-through side there and then a small little window on the back where the door is. I think that's pretty slick. It says just push down the center and the other walls start to collapse. Push down on the hub, gather the corners, and fold the blind up quickly. This is not th something you want to be practicing out in the woods. So we're going to go down on the middle. I'm going to go there, go there, go there, go there. Okay, now we are somehow it does not show like it does on it shows like that and then you start to gather the corners it says gather a corner gather a corner okay I'll tell you what, that part is trickier than it looks. So now let's see, does it go back in the bag? That's always one of my favorite things. One tip I have for you, it wasn't a uh, Rhino blind, but it was a, uh, a Maristep blind I had. I took it down in the winter after it had been up and we'd had some rain and snow and uh, the hubs broke. So wait till the spring thaw if you can. That looks good. I'd say practice a few times. It'll help you when you're in the woods. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.